Hello and welcome to another Strappy Cloud video. In this video, we're going to take our previously deployed application and I'm going to show you how to use our Deets transfer feature to be able to transfer your local data up to your cloud application. I'm really excited for this video. I hope you are too. So let's jump right into it. And if you missed the video on how to deploy your initial project to Strapi Cloud, I'll make sure to share it somewhere here. Go check it out. So this is my Strapi application running locally that we deployed in our previous video to Strapi Cloud. As you could see though, we have our data for our articles, authors, and categories. But that's not something that we have on our deployed project. Because when you are deploying a project to Strapi from your GitHub repository, it doesn't move the data. In order to do that, you need to use our Deets transfer feature. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. The most important thing to consider is if you want to use the Deets transfer feature, you need to provide an environmental variable. So in our admin.js file located in the config folder, you need to add this code snippet, transfer, and inside there, pass your token and include this line here. We're going to add this environmental variable inside our cloud application. I also went ahead and added it in my local instance as well. If you forget to add your environmental variable when deploying your application to Strapi Cloud, you will run into this error. Server wasn't able to start properly because we're missing our transfer token salt. So let's go ahead, fix this issue now. Going into settings, clicking on the variables link, let's add our new variable. Click on add variable, enter the name, and we're going to add our value. Click save. Inside of our deploys, go ahead and re-trigger the deploy to make sure to include the new variables. We're going to wait for this to finish and we'll be right back in just a minute. And we're back, our application has updated. Let's go ahead back to our main view, click visit our app, go to your admin page, enter your admin user and your secure password that you set up. Perfect, we're inside of our application. As we could see, we have no data and we're gonna change it in just a moment. So for us to use the Deets data transfer, we need to create a token. You could do so by going into settings under transfer tokens, create new transfer token. Let's give it a name, call it transfer. My token, how original. Let's select unlimited for testing purposes and click save. Now this is gonna be shown to you only once. So make sure when you copy the token, you put it somewhere safe. Otherwise you would have to regenerate a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead, copy to clickboard and click save. Now our work on our deployed Strapi application is done. So now let's go back into our terminal. So in our local project from which we wanna transfer the data, let's type yarn strappy transfer dash dash help to see all the available options. So what we need to do is provide our destination URL and our token that we just created. So let's type yarn strappy transfer dash dash two and insert our URL. Make sure that you're including dash admin at the end. Now it's going to ask us for our token. I hope you saved it somewhere safe. I'm going to go ahead and paste my token and press enter. Remember, the transfer will delete all the data in the remote database and media files. So before importing data, make sure that you have all your databases and data backed up. Are you sure you want to proceed? I'm going to say yes. It's gonna go ahead and do its magic. Depending on how much data you had, this process could take some time. But here we are, we succeeded in moving all our data from our local instance of Strapi to the cloud. But let's do the final test by checking it out on our deployed application. So here I am inside my deployed application, go to content manager and voila, look at that. We have our data now living in the cloud. That is super awesome. 
So in this video, we took a look how to transfer data from our local Strapi instance to the cloud by using our Deets transfer functionality. In future videos, we'll take a look what if you're hosting your own database and you just want to point your Strapi cloud to an existing database. In the meantime, if you have any questions, go ahead and join our Discord server. I'm going to make sure to link to it in the description below. And let us know any questions in the comments that you want us to answer in following videos. Thanks a lot for joining us today and I'll see you in the next video.